Welcome back. Thought this might be fun to have a look at uh, a second going around or uh, effort with this particular scenario. And I guess I've just never really used craters before, these little guys. So I, uh, I made some mistakes in the last gameplay and uh, it was ugly for the Germans. And now, as you can see, it's still kind of ugly for the Germans, but it's also kind of ugly for the uh, for the Allies as well. And, and you, may, you may also know that I, I mainly play the modern uh, scenarios uh, for this particular game system uh, versus the World War II stuff. Let me just turn this off. And anyway, I thought uh, I, I thought I'd uh, jump on because we kind of got to an interesting little uh, situation where there's some neato little choices to make about what happens next. During the game turn, the Germans have sort of inched forward in the in the third turn, took some fire, got caught in the open here, tried to, they had, uh, they'd started the turn with these guys had, had been suppressed. So they were, they managed to inch up and get a few units forward. They were trying to use these guys to sucker the allies into firing. But the Allies didn't. They waited for great opportunities to shoot and did that. They even did not uh, try and take on the hero here. And keep in mind, everyone's minus one movement point here because for the snow. So uh, it's just a one more thing to keep track of. But uh, we'll be doing that okay. Uh, got some Art Arty down on point. Had some uh, mortar exchanges that were very effective. <coughs> uh, where the the, the uh, Yanks are in a little bit of a little bit of a uh, pickle here, and it's uh, the Easy Company, as you know, uh, if you've been watching or the, any of the posts I've been writing up, uh, or any of that. It's uh, Easy Company. We stand alone from the Normandy system. So just to put that in context for you, now that we're two and a half or two minutes into this exercise, so what I decided to do because these chaps were uh, shaken. And these were already shaken. They had fired and then uh, were fired upon. I forget by who now. I think the sniper actually uh, suppressed them. So I assault moved a hero into the hex here. And the primary reason for that was if, if, if folks could get, if these guys could get a run into here, they could take that machine gun nest <clears throat> and that would really clear up the, these guys to press in pretty aggressively. So... We have an assault move, a hero into here. That's going to be a, a malice against his direct fire. If he uh, gets into a, a, shoot, a shooting match with these guys, or uh, so and so, there's that. Uh, the other op option for these guys was to uh, try and go this way. They could go one, two, three, four with the leader, and they can, uh, or can they? The leader's ops complete for spotting. So he's not going to be able to move. So they would have to only move three movement points. That might put an end to their actually trying to attack, which means they would then want to switch to a, a firing option. But nevertheless, my, my, the thought that I had here was that if they tried to advance, I needed some additional support besides this. So I assault move this guy up, up here. He's a, just a, one of the little airborne dudes from... Uh, from Easy Company, he'll pay a malice for a detriment to his uh, firepower for the degrading terrain and for the assault move. So he'd be basically doing a raw 1d6 shot, but he'd be shooting against a, a moving target, so that'd be a plus one. So that's a, that's a nice way to add a little bit of defensive strength there. No one else, this is the last, uh, last set of units to move. So now... I don't think I can move these guys. Actually, even with a decisive, that little decisive thing, that's two moves or is it two activations? Let's see. Can activate both himself and the unit stacked in his hex twice. Okay, so that's what that will do. So we can take this off. And I'm gonna go, so now I can go here. I can go one to here with these guys. Now, do I want to use this chap to shoot at him or do I wanna use this chap? Probably wait. And if they do move adjacent here, then I can uh, then I can get uh, the bonus for being adjacent when he uh, for op fire, and if I move this if I move away 
I've still got that higher, uh, he's got the deadly skill and he's also got the higher firepower. So these guys will shoot here, they'll do an up fire. And it's uh, gonna be, I think a 1d6 plus one is what I said it would be. And unfortunately that's gonna be no effect. So that was a wasted shot as they say. But uh, now, what? which direction will I go? With five movement points using the leader's double time speed, you subtract one movement point away. Here's probably the safer bet in terms of um, shooty bits because we've got uh, just one factor and I've got three. So we are gonna go this way. So we'll go one to here. And now, uh, now they'll take their off fire. And they're gonna fire with two minus one for the assault move but uh, plus one for the move. So it's just a net uh, raw two. And I dropped that guy. Well, uh, fuck, here we go, there's that. Yeah, okay. So what I say, seven versus four, it's gonna be a plus three check on these guys. So let's start with the top of the leader, plus three, a D6 plus three, that's gonna be eight. So he shakes. The next guy, he's now using his own. Five plus three is eight. And the next guy, one. We're gonna do a hero check on him, he survives. And this guy, four plus whatever I said it was, is gonna be more than five, uh, so he will shake. Now we need to do a hero check, even number. And they get it. All right, so I need a second German hero. If I have one here somewhere. Uh, that piece just fell out. Let's see what's this here. So bear with me while we look for a hero. Uh, German heroes. Yes, well, I only have one left, so it's that one. And he is a 161. He's like a, a long range shooter, dude. So these two guys are gonna go in. <laughs> well, they still get the benefit of the hero, of the leader. That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. I've got this leader, and we were doing we were doing a double time. Hmm. Well, one, two, yeah, I can't get there. But this guy started here. Uh, he takes on all the attributes of the folks that he is with. He used two movement points. He has five. He could go in. I'm just gonna say that he can go in. I don't even know if that's right. I really don't care. It's all just good fun. I don't, I don't get too bent out of shape about uh, playing exactly right when it comes to lock and load or any of these tactical level games. Especially as many times as I've played and played right or wrong, it's all good. So we're gonna do a melee here. We might as well just resolve this now, why not? It's a one to one. It goes up to two to one because uh, the hero gets a bonus like that. He, get, he gets that. He rolled a four on a two to one. I can tell you right now that ain't gonna be good enough. So uh, that is a no result. So we would put a Malay marker on there, but these guys get to shoot back at one to one. And they roll a five. <coughs> and I also know that that is not good enough. I don't know where the results take this. Uh, two to one needed a six and a one to one needed an eight for a kill. So that is now all wrapped up in a Malay. The low crawl marker can come off. The medic is stuck in there. Poor guy. This shaken dude is in there. Let's put the medic on the bottom. And we've got these guys going at it. Oh, there's the machine gun. I knew there was a machine gun in there. So let's do that. So there you have it. That was their last activation. I fired with this chap as well, did I? didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, he was the one that caused all the, all the drama there, so he's fired. That leaves me with a couple of other guys, though. I do have, uh, hmm, I'm not gonna move this guy. I'm not gonna do anything else with him. He's gonna stay there, he'll protect that stack because I could make a run for it. Two, three, four. That might be worth doing, or could I use this guy? Two, four, five, no, he can't get there. Then I would be out in the open. That would be the hum. Hmm. 
We're going we're gonna to need to reinforce this hex. That's the problem. So anyway, I didn't want to turn this into a, a long uh, game session. I just wanted to give you a feel for uh, the game and what was going on here a little bit. And the scenario was supposed to be more of an update than anything else. All right, uh, there you have it. We'll uh, think about what we might do with the rest of the team. We've only got a couple of units left to, to ponder about. And we'll get stuck into turn four. Talk to you soon.